Hey guys, so I'm about to start watching um, Christ on Infinite Earths Part 2. This is the Batwoman portion of the crossover. Um, you know, I, just to get my quick thoughts on, you know, Batwoman, the series as a whole, it got it got way too much hate, and it got way too much hate. I mean, yeah, just like any other show, it was like, took a few, you know, like, you know, say like Arrow and during its first season, took a little bit of, took a a few episodes to kind of find its, you know, find its stride, but it started to slowly but surely do that. It was still entertaining, nevertheless. Um, Allison, um, uh, why am I blanking the names? Mary, Mary, the stepsister Mary, Mary immediately won me over just from the fact that it's like, oh, she plays up like the, you know, social, you know, kind of like socialite persona, but you know. But it's actually, you know, is a med student who's smarter than she lets on. It's like running her own clinic, albeit it's legal, but still, it's you know, gotta give some characters some depths, and you know, and maybe not people, and you know, not just people. It's not just people in Bruce's side of the family who lead double lives. Um, so it's kind of a nice parallel, and also just kind of feel bad how you know, Kate's so obsessed with trying to get um, Beth back, who they did reveal. They did reveal in the first episode that Beth Kane was Alice. I'm glad they didn't drag that. That was that wasn't a mystery. They dragged out like some of the other like miss like some of the other like villain secret identity storylines that, that that tend to happen like you know Flash and Arrow, um, at least in their earlier seasons. And you know I think you know Rachel Carson does a really good job. She's you know she's she's the right flavor right flavor like you know sinister and hammy and um she's clearly having a ball she's clearly having a blast during the role um the other characters supporting characters it took a little while to warm up to um and like flesh out over um later episodes um luke's storyline about maybe his father's killer didn't get, uh, wasn't brought to justice and could lead to like some interesting subplots for him and you know, understanding um, it, uh, Kate's father's like self-loathing, Jacob Kane's self-loathing about, and also self-loathing and just kind of his frustration about you know learning the truth about his other daughter, and you know, then Catherine lying about essentially faking his death, faking like the DNA results for skull fragments they found to make it look like Beth would actually died. Um, and what and, you know, Beth being raised in captivity and kind of just drove into driven to insanity to the point where she poisoned, um, po essentially poisoned her, her, poisoned Catherine, almost killed Mary, and framed Jacob for the murder to the point where it's like, okay, not even now, even you know, Jacob and Kate find find her irredeemable, and Beth wants nothing to. I'm sorry. Mary wants nothing to do with Cage because of how much time she's tried to like go after Alice and let, and when you know she's been trying to be supportive and get her being supportive and you know wasn't doesn't have a body count, and that was kind of like the last straw for her. But you know it's pretty yeah it was a pretty powerful um, mid season finale. I mean granted it's like I know the first four episodes took place prior to Elseworlds and then five took place. So five took place like two weeks after Elseworlds, and then I guess some indefinite amount of time has passed between this and between that episode and now. So a little bit, of, you know, it's a little bit of weird, a little weird, but otherwise a solid show. I'm kind of waiting to see what kind of other chance at surviving the crisis. We need its technology. Who? Yeah, I kind of promised our crew they'd never have to do another crossover. We don't need your crew. Just Ray's lab. And we have an entire multiverse of wave riders at our disposal. Oh. Okay, that's new. Is anyone where, here? Where Welcome is she? Aboard. My name is Leonard, an interactive artificial consciousness programmed to operate this vessel's critical system. Oh my god! I know who you are. Always pleased to meet a fan, but you are trespassing. Any preference on how you'd like to die? What he's saying is... Flame. I thought the Legends of Earth-74 all retired. We did. Well, 
Some. One died. No one was using the ship, so I took it. Across space and time. Across space and time exist seven heroes. Beings of the purest will who can ultimately... Beings of the purest will who can ultimately... It's not working. <laughs> of the purest will <laughs> can ultimately defeat the anti the man was never meant to fly what the hell here we are goodbye superman all of you lover told me about how he brought sarah and his sister back to life fusing something called a lazarus pit they don't exist that sounds too good to be true well, it, it, I mean, it is. It turns out that you destroyed all the pits on this earth, but there are more Earths to choose from. I know that you want Oliver back more than anything, but this he is... He can't be dead. Not him. Okay. Everything I need to know about Lazarus Pits. And you told me everything I need to know about you. Why don't you share your opinion when it's about your life? Why don't you share your opinion when it's about your dad? This is not going to end well. It's so not going to end well. They'll have to forgive him. We're not used to having guests. Oh my god! Kate? Bruce? Game over. We need to find this Earth Superman before Lex jumps here and offs him. I think it's a little late for that. Disappeared into thin air. Lex killed him and reached out. He won't stop until we're all dead. Why would he bring him back? One sixty-seven. Okay. No, this is significant. Don't know the significance of that number. It's either him or the buff guy on the paper towel rolls. Lex. Yeah. I didn't know the president was in town. Look, I faced a lot of types of things. Hello, old friend. Who are you? Don't you know me, Clark? I'm Lex Luthor. What's going on? Huh? Which has no effect on me ever since I gave up my powers. What? You gave up your powers? Kids, pretty while you can, Clark. You're all doomed anyway. Talking to the cows again. Yeah, it was Lex Luthor from another Earth. Apparently, the multiverse is ending. <laughs> Smallville, you made it funny. It's taken you about a decade, but you're getting the hang of it. Hmm. What'd the girls make? A mess. We can't wait for you to see it. Oh, <laughs> sounds like a job for us. Huh. <laughs> I've lost track of how many people I've killed. The Bruce I knew had a code. You start with a code. You hang on to it with every self-righteous breath. But then you take one life. Then another. Then another. Then another. We need you to come back with us. I know this sounds insane, but... You might be the key to saving the multiverse. It's actually one of the least insane things I've ever heard. First, you stay and face Luther. Then you won't do it alone. 
We won't let him kill you. Oh, I've moved on from that. Making Superman kill Superman. What the hell? He doesn't. He has a better job playing a villain in Superman than he ever did as Neuron. I gotta say that much. So no one's gonna try to grab the. I gotta try to grab the book from him. Nice one. Very different lesson. Life only makes sense if you force it to. And you did the leapfrog thing. In any universe. If you really think that, you're gonna have to kill one more person. Me. Don't be a fool. Oh. Just fine. That light is the paragon of courage. Yeah, well, Bruce's body isn't on the ship, so. No, but you are. But it is gone. I know. But maybe I can use the Book of Destiny to bring it back. Monitor said that would be really dangerous, Gara. I know what he said. What good is being the paragon of hope if I don't have any? Oh boy. Oh, what? Stop. Please stop. Anti-modern. The universe has fallen before my power. World after world consumed. With every death, I steal my mirror strength. And mine grows ever stronger. Who am I? I am the anti-monitor. Come, Harbinger. There is work to be done. So yeah, um, I'm sorry this was so late. I was kind of taking a little holiday break from you know, all the videos and editing, and yeah, it was you know it wasn't. I mean, it was kind of weird with Oliver. With um, he wasn't dead for that long, so it should have been more like Thea's situation where, and Roy's situation where he came back, but he still had the bloodlust, and then there was like more like Sarah. I mean, Sarah came back without a soul because she's been dead for more than a year. Like Oliver's been dead for like a few hours. For like less than a day so i'm not sure like how that's how he's going through like coming back as soulless i don't get that um i was shocked by how um you know they they made this bruce wayne evil and a more like and almost like not and even like nihilistic which is their unexpected take on it and they got me slack jawed and some people were upset about it, uh, and you know how it's like this is Kevin Conroy's first live action outing as Batman. They made him evil, and 
you know, I mean, I kind of get that, but at the same time, it's like, it's an, he's played an alternate, an evil alternate universe Batman before in, um, you know, the Justice Lord Batman from the Justice League animated series, and it's not like he had any component, you know, he's the one who, like, you know, basically all the, all those members of the version of the Justice League, they threw their moral compass, you know, their moral convictions to the wind, and you can't say, like, he was above, like, you know, killing, that version was above killing either. Um, you know, it was good to see, you know, it was good to see, um, Small Bill's version of Clark and Lois, even though I was, like, a little bit disappointed about, you know, him losing his powers, he's settled down with the family, and he's not gonna have a more active role. I wasn't surprised by it, since they already said he was only there for a day of filming, so apparently it was just gonna be a cameo. But, the more I thought about it, the more I felt like this would be something that this version of Clark would do, that would be in character for him. Um, you know, Great to see, you know, it's great to see Constantine. Um, hope he has more interactions with Oliver at some point. I guess in, I guess when they go to retreat in the next episode, somehow when he's back to normal, maybe. Um, Brandon Routh, I was not a fan of his Superman during Superman Returns, but I feel like it's proven that you know, given more like with you know age and more experience as an actor, he's definitely been able to pull off the role. A, a lot better here than he ever did in Superman Returns to the point where I thought I had like these three versions of Clark of Superman ranked from best to worst which was Tyler Hecklin, Tom Welling, Brandon Routh. The latter gave both of them a rent for their money so I don't know where I would rank them at this point. Um, and yeah I'm gonna try to see you know upload the next couple parts of, of the next few days. Maybe throw in a Rise of Skywalker review. I'm trying to. I'm still to have like mixed feelings about that movie, and hopefully see the finale of The Mandalorian, and get back to watching um, Harley Quinn at some point. Like I said, the last two time, those last two shows I have been doing videos about, partly because of the fact that they've both been blocked for stupid reasons, even though I was did with the ten minutes of fair use. But I'll, I'm gonna give it another shot. And anyway, guys, what did you think of the? What do you guys think of part two? Do you like it better than is it? You like it better than part one, or or less than part one? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys soon.